Hello, welcome to this next tutorial. And today we're going to be creating this, hopefully. Um, and all this is really is is a way of uh, creating some simple water, uh, just using some After Effects displacements and some some noise and things like that. Um, it's one of those things that's often quite tricky to do if you're asked to do water. But uh, hopefully this will simplify it for you and uh, and get a nice result as well. So anyway, let's get started. First thing, if we create a new composition, uh, I'll keep it at 1280 by 720, 30 frames a second, 10 seconds, that's all fine. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new solid. And I want this solid to be slightly bigger than the comp, so because it's going to be a 3D layer and it's going to represent the actual water and it needs to be a little bit bigger anyway. So if you do it by 2000 by 2000, that should cover it. So that's got a, uh, got got it covered there. And uh, so actually, if we rename that water, so we know what we're doing, and click here to make it a 3D layer, and then in the effects and presets, what we're looking for is noise. So go to fractal noise, drag that on. That's great. And then we want to add a little bit of blur to it as well. So if you type blur, um, we're looking for a Gaussian blur. Stick that on. Uh, with the blur, just uh, crank it up probably, let's see, probably to about 20, something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and then rotate this down. You can press shift so it goes to 90 degrees. And then pull it down. Pull that down so it's about flat on the surface. Cool. And that's going to be our water. All right, cool. So the next thing we're going to do is if we bring in our sky, which I've just basically just ripped straight out of Google Images. And it's just a, it's just a sky, really. But I like this one because it had a, a, a sort of distant sort of hills or mountain range, which is really going to be cool for the reflection, hopefully, if we get it. So uh, with that, I'm going to make, also make that a 3D layer. And I'm just going to push that back back in Z space and um, we want to get it lined up exactly with the edge of our water so if we just go to our top view and we can see up here so I'll just push it up to about about there and then we come back to our active camera uh, just move it over so it's sort of centered uh, speaking of the camera we need one uh, let's create a new camera 28 mils cool Press OK. Um, this will probably drop back in your scene. Don't worry about that. We'll deal with that later. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to create the reflection or the refraction that you'll see through the water. So what we're going to do is if we duplicate this layer, Control D to duplicate, and then just say so move it down a little bit, and then just flip it roughly. It does not have to be exact at all because it's just going to be a refraction. Put it down so it's about about there. Actually, let's make it so down there. Actually, first thing, turn that water back on and get this so it's sitting on the top. There we are. Turn it back off, and that way we can make this sit in there too. All right, uh, and then the next thing we want to do is we want to create the actual displacement map using this fractal noise you've got sitting on this water here. So what we need to do is to create a new a new uh, adjustment layer and then in our effects and presets if you just go to display, displacement map pull that in you can see it just did a little bit of a twitch there and change the dis map, displace, displace <laughs> change the displacement map layer to water and then we can crank up the not that one there not that one there either oh i've missed a step i've missed a step i've missed a step okay so what we want to do is pre-comp by the way i deleted that uh, displacement map we want to pre-comp our water layer here so layer pre-compose and i'll just call it water texture call it whatever you like even water texture is the French. Uh, well, it would have been French, but it's not French. It's just my French um, 
anyway. Um, so now we can put the displacement map back onto there and change that to water text and then crank it up and now we start to get a little bit of an effect on our water. So once we've got that all working, um, actually that kind of works as like a just as a sort of still room, really, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's say to about there. We can always adjust these things anyway afterwards. Um, let's press C and then we can pull in a little bit to our scene. Say to there. I'm going to pull this into fit so you can see it a little bit better. Okay. Um, that's not looking too bad. It will not animate yet. Um, I'll just get to that now. So if we go into our water texture and then we select the water. In the evolution setting is what we need to animate. So just look here as I turn the evolution wheel. That's that's the exact thing we need to animate. So if you alt and click on this stopwatch here, down here you'll look at the actual um, expressions editor. So all you need to type is time times 300. Uh, 300 seems to be about right for the scale. You may need to play with it for yours if it's if you've got a bigger scene or a small scene or whatever. But 300 works pretty well for for this sort of scene. So now, if I just sort of play that through, we get this sort of watery effect. Okay, so I can see it's a little bit well, it doesn't really look like water too much with the size and distance. So if you go to our adjustment layer here, we could probably displace it a little bit more. And in the water texture, probably want to scale it down so it looks like we're the water's further away and the whole thing's a little bit bigger. So if we go into here and we go to our transform and we get our scale and we just scale it right down to about let's keep going to about 30. Yeah, okay, and back to our comp. I'm gonna rename this comp. Uh, so uh, layer sorry composition composition settings I'm going to call it simple water simple water like that. okay so now if you look it looks a little bit more realistic uh, a little bit more um, as if we were slightly further away it's got a little bit more detail to it these edges here um, are fine we can just zoom in on that no worries at all um, so what we can do is we take our camera, well we can just press C and just pull in, oh, beg your pardon, there we are, just pull in a little bit, there we are, and now if we just sort of play that through, might be a bit jerky, Okay, it's not bad, so it just sort of looks like a little bit of water. Look up here, I can see something's horrible. Um, so if I just take our sky texture on the bottom, which I'm going to now parent, actually, which one is which? So that is our top and that is our bottom. So I'm going to switch these around in the, in the stacking. I'm going to rename that top sky and I'm going to rename this one bottom sky and I'm going to parent bottom sky to top sky so now if I move the top one the whole thing goes with it kinda alright so um, also it is 3D so if we take our camera we can actually orbit around here although the although the actual water texture is not coming with us and that's probably because we need to collapse the transformations by clicking this little button here and now if we move around, fingers crossed, it's a little bit more realistic and we've got a 3D scene there. So just running that through here, let's just lower this down to a half and fit. Okay, that's pretty neat, pretty neat. So also with the bottom texture, just to be aware, you can actually move this around in Y or whatever to change the way the reflection is working which is a pretty sweet effect um, if you want to make it look a little bit you know, a bit more arty or however you want it I mean realistically you would let's just move it so I can see 
you would get these this area here which is reflecting the actual the mountains um, but even if you if you softened it up a little bit that would still work I'd say I mean it just depends on how you feel I reckon something like that's gonna work um, yeah that'll probably work I'm done there no, I just move that back so um, just had a thought actually because it is a 3d scene we could probably do something quite cool with some text too maybe if I type to there and then make that a 3d layer push it back maybe to about there then it and then we can control D duplicate that and just sort of scale that back the other way maybe to about there stick it somewhere there and then we can move that underneath or in between these two layers here and you'll get that refracting strongly and then with this one here maybe we just want to mask off the actual top area or something like that and if we parent the reflected layer the one that's down here back up to the top one we can then move the top one hopefully anywhere and scale it and it will respond accordingly uh, to whatever we do so again that will be part of the 3d scene sort of thing. So if we would take our camera for example position and then move the right to end and move in to say there you know we get sort of nice little zoom in with our camera and yeah, let's make it half there we are just to just to just a shot that pans in dead realistic yeah anyway uh, so yeah you can do anything you like with this really now so I'm going to sort of short and sweet one for you. Let's just turn that water off. And that's it really. So there you go. It's kind of some procedural water that's pretty simple to do with any kind of background or reflection. Um, so um, yeah, go for it. So water needn't be that difficult. Um, all right. Anyway, I hope you're all good. I've been Matt Smart. Catch you next time.